uh, set up. So Tom, you're, you're live with us. Um, I feel a bit like saying hello, hello, stranger. It's nice to have you back. It's nice to be back. Um, I guess you got more football than you expected tonight. Yeah, I was only expecting 45, and then obviously Alice went down, um, and I heard him mention my name, and I was like, oh god, here we go. A bit longer than I expected, but it's it's all right to get thrown in at the deep end and just get on with it. Um, how are you feeling physically and can, can you explain the, the sort of problem that's kept you out, out until I feel good I feel good um, obviously I had an issue with something called Morton's Neuroma that I had operated on during lockdown and it just took a lot longer to um, to heal it wouldn't close up and then obviously I come back probably a bit too soon and ended up getting a stress fracture in my heel which kept me out even longer but now you know I've only had two sessions with the rest of the squad um, really I would have hoped this game was probably next week and I've had a full week but um, obviously I've been training with the physio and that as well but two sessions in with the squad um, and then back into it straight away so as you say is it, is it almost perhaps better to be to be thrown in when you're not quite prepared I prefer as you say it. you just go in there yeah I prefer that rather than like, it building up and say, I just I just prefer to get thrown in and get on with it yeah what happened for the goal at the end it's all pretty chaotic oh, it was a really good goal wasn't it <laughs> <laughs> no I pretty much <laughs> slide tackled it into the goal but I'll take that I don't get too many, so yeah, I'm happy with that. It's good, good to be back. And, and just in terms of the sort of balance of play, how do you feel you did as a team? I think we've done all right. Um, don't know, we haven't really kept many clean sheets lately, so I think that was the main thing to keep a clean sheet. Obviously, we changed the shape and was was free at the back, and it was just to keep compact and yeah. And it's just nice to pop up with a goal at the end. I didn't fancy penalties. <laughs> Was, it, was that a significant thing? Was it a kind of conscious thing to, to maybe try and keep it a bit more, more simple than perhaps you have? Yeah, I think effect? so. I think so. I think just the main thing was, obviously, I think the main. I don't. I don't think the result was was that important to us. Obviously, we, we can't really go much further in the competition. I think we need. Who was it? We need to to lose or something like you that. You needed to win by two goals tonight. So. Well, I suppose we could have gone further then, but um, you know, the main things to for me to get minutes. Obviously, being out, I, I've not played a game since March, and I've been out for four months injured. So, just to get back out there and play, you know, it's, it feels good. Um, and how difficult has it been with your, your sort of future clearly in doubt at the club, and you're trying to go through that recovery process at the same time? Yeah, you, you just try and keep professional, and there's there's only certain things that you can control. Like I can't control if I if I leave or or stay. Um, you know, that's down to to other people at the club or. You know, obviously, I ended up end up staying, and I just had to, to get on with my recovery and make sure that I, I give myself the best possibility of, of playing. And um, I guess you do have that, that chance now until January at least to, to, really, really to maybe turn your fortunes around. Right? Yeah, you know, not, not done myself any harm tonight, I suppose. So um, we'll just see see what happens. And what kind of lift has that given you in the, in the, in the sort of dressing room after, after Darwin? Did you feel you've wiped away a lot of, of the aspects of that performance as a group? Yeah, I think so. I think you can just t take one game at a time. Really, you can't you can't change what's happened in the past, but you can just you can just learn from it. So I think we've learned from that. Um, obviously, it was one of them games anyway. Um, even tonight, we had a lot of chances. We could have scored three or four, but um, I think you just take one game at a time. And a quick word on Joe Fry behind you. He's barely played any, any football. I know he's for done really well. Years. Yeah, no, he was. I thought he was excellent tonight. And put, put himself in. Well, in front yeah, of definitely. Put some pressure on. Definitely, and that's what you need. You need competition for places. It keeps everyone on their toes, so it's good. I see you back, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Um, sorry, can you just describe in, in a word or two what it kind of means to be back in the group? With you know, obviously you like playing. You're a footballer. You love to be playing football. It's, it's amazing, honestly. It's been it's been really frustrating, sort of watching and not being involved and training on your own, not really knowing what's going on. Um, so just to get back out there and, and play, albeit a check a trade game and things like that, but I can build on that now and hopefully get get back in the team properly. Yeah. What is it? What was the? Um, I guess it been like for you being away. What's the communication been? Have you been kept in the leap, or is it just a case of you leave to get on with your recovery? No, no. Obviously, for, obviously for a bit I was away from the squad, um, just because I couldn't even I couldn't even walk. Um, but then, obviously, since I've been back in with the physios, I've I've seen quite a bit. Obviously, the the, the physio room is quite full at the minute, so I see half the squad anyway. But um, no, I've been I've been involved, and obviously, I've, I've been a bit more involved again now that now that I'm able to train with the rest of the squad. So it's good. Yeah. Was there any any reason for number 33, or is it just the long, the, the lowest one you could get? Um, obviously, Brownsy coming in took number five because obviously I didn't really know what, where my future was at the club at the time. Um, and then 33 was what I had when I first signed, so and I quite like the number, so I took that.
Yeah, well, best of luck to you. Uh, Thanks very much.